Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about my top best tips on how to look good on camera. I'm talking about video calls, Zoom calls, Teams calls, WebEx calls. Working remotely is such a big part of our world right now. So if you're doing temporarily or full-time, you know, since 2020, we've had plenty of opportunities to learn how to do it properly, to adjust to it. Yet I still see a lot of just common sense etiquette on a video that's not really happening. Here are some of the things I'm going to cover in this video. I'm going to talk about lights, attire, about the equipment you're using, routine, and also the do's and don'ts that should be happening during an actual video call. Working remotely is very challenging because you're at home, you're used to your casual attire, perhaps just relaxed overall attitude, and that carries on through the camera. So tip number one is to dress as you are at work. You have to control yourself. You have to set boundaries for yourself. You can't do whatever you want. You can't say whatever you want. So might as well frame everything in your attire just like you would at work. The tip number two for you is to maintain your routine just like you would if you go into work. Wake up at the same time, do everything in sequence the same way as you normally would. Um, you know, from showering, brushing teeth, doing your makeup, getting dressed, having breakfast, dropping off kids, whatever it is, try as best as you can to maintain that routine. It's very easy to just um, completely ignore it and wake up later because all of a sudden you don't have the commute time and then, well, why do you need to even get dressed or put makeup on in the first place? All of these things help. Your routine is um, pretty much sets the pace for the rest of your day, mentally and physically. Ladies, this is very specific to you right now. Minimal makeup, very important to wear minimal makeup. I'm not even talking about what others see. I'm talking about you, how you feel when you have a little bit of color and you feel more put together and it enhances your features. It's all about how you feel. When you feel good about yourself, when you feel like you're put together, then you radiate this energy and positivity, which is very helpful when others see you. So you know how in 2020 we had business on top and party on the bottom? No, no, no. We are in 2022 now. You have to be business all the way. And let me tell you, I found this out the hard way. I had to get up from my desk and uh, go outside, leave uh, my, my office. Uh, upstairs and let me tell you that was pretty embarrassing because I then realized that the person who was watching me before from my waist up all of a sudden could see me that you know my bottom was clearly very you know I mean I don't want to say inappropriate but it was sporty it wasn't matching it was definitely not office uh, type so um, yes definitely wear clothes on the bottom and if you can make it uh, make sure that it's uh, your work attire next tip is to make it to meetings on time and why is this important well let me tell you the one of the disadvantages of working remotely is that you have back to back to back meetings and they're scheduled every 30 minutes and sometimes some um, they run over their allocated time and then you don't really have time for yourself i've been in meetings back to back for about four hours i had to excuse myself but one of the things that I found useful is to log out like five minutes before the meeting ends, just write in a chat that, you know, I have something else to do or I have to um, catch up later with you because I have another meeting to run to and people understand. So take that little bit of buffer and freshen up. It will make you look much, much better for the next one. Next, let's talk about lighting. This is so important. I think this is the most important aspect other than making sure your camera works, audio works, lighting, lights, lights, lights. You want the lights to come from the front to shine on your face. Most people sit in front of a window, but that's the opposite of what you want. Unless your screen is very shiny and uh, projecting a lot of light, offsetting the background light, it makes you look worse. And let me tell you what's even worse than that is to have light shining from above. So think about what your audience sees. 
Think about all those people in a meeting and they you can see the screen. They want to see your face. How is your face seen if there's light projected on it? So my suggestion is to sit by the window facing the window and turn your laptop so that your laptop camera is you know, in front of the window and then you have all the light shining in your face. Now, bonus, if you have light from in front and the back, that's great. Definitely not the top. Getting light from the top just casts shadow on your face that makes you look tired and I don't wanna say older, but it's just not very flattering. Oh my gosh, next. <laughs> Next one is pretty funny. Check your background. This is so important. Are you looking at what's behind you? Because everybody else will. <laughs> so if you have clothes hanging, if they're drying, or you just left from the night before, if you have food, if you... I'm not even gonna go into what options you might have behind you. Make sure you remove them. Less is more. Check the coverage behind you and remove some items that don't need to be there. My next tip on how to make yourself look good is not to make yourself sound bad. You have to press the mute button. You pretty much just get used to being muted at all times. If someone asks you a question directly and you need to speak, you unmute and you mute right away as soon as you're done. This way, you never have to worry about any background noise, about anything, coughing, sneezing, saying, reacting, you know, to anything on your phone, your phone ringing. You don't wanna be that person causing, you know, unwanted negative attention. So be mindful of this. Unmute when you need to speak and mute every time after that. My next tip is to use several monitors at the same time if you can. I understand not everybody can and for different reasons, but my job requires me to, well, it makes it a lot easier and they paid for it. So this is very helpful because one of my screens is always the actual meeting and I keep that, you know, open in the middle and I have my two side panels and it's very easy for me to reach to the unmute button if I need it. I I always maximize my window, the one that my audience sees. Why? Because I want to see what they see. That's really important to me to control myself, to make sure I don't make funny faces or gesticulate or poses that all of a sudden, you know, I slouch and I get comfortable or I sit like this or any other positions. Once you look at yourself kind of continuously and you realize what you're doing, you're going to create this awareness about yourself and all of a sudden you're going to straighten up and you're going to pay it more attention and ultimately will make you look much better. My next tip is really good for several reasons. Of course, always to look good, but because you also might want to improve your performance and that is to record your meetings. This is very important because you can look back at your performance, you can look back at you know learning, maybe you missed out some details and you can also watch yourself. This is so important to watch yourself at all times to just create that self-awareness. And I recommend watching yourself and filming yourself, um, taking selfies perhaps and not necessarily to post them, but just to check yourself out more often. Look at how your makeup um, is, you know, came out. Look at your outfit. Uh, take a little bit of space and see what works and what doesn't work. Because, you know, when you're bored and waiting for somebody and uh, you're scrolling through your pictures months later, pay attention to what works for you. And what works for you, you want to focus on and recreate again and again. And since we're talking about looking at yourself more often, just to create awareness and analyze your Yourself, but for improvement purposes, pay attention also to the colors that you're using. When you meet someone in person and when you look at yourself in a mirror, it looks very different. The lighting is different. The atmosphere is different versus the camera version. On camera, things look different mostly because of the lighting and also because of uh, the actual equipment that it's built in in your laptop or the camera that you're using. So colors shift and perhaps you look more pale on camera than off camera. I've had that happen all the time. And one of the things that I've noticed is that when I'm wearing white, I look very pale. So I definitely need to bump up my makeup level and make my eyes darker, something that in person I wouldn't necessarily need. 
the camera version of me looks very different. So pay attention to what colors work and don't work. Adjust with the makeup and you should be all set. From my own poor experience, I'm sharing my next one, ladies, and this is for you. Pay attention to the lipstick you're wearing. Oh my goodness. Some of us want to throw on the first lipstick that we see and it probably is not a nice nude color one. It doesn't look very flattering. It makes me look pale and um, I would love for it to work for me because I love other women having red lipstick. Extra tip is if you keep a neutral looking one or perhaps a tinted balm in your drawer next to wherever the camera is or your laptop or your workstation, it's very handy because we're a little bit self-aware right before the camera goes on, the meeting starts, right there, oh my gosh, I don't have anything on my lipstick, let me put something on really quick. Have it handy and it's going to make you look much more attractive and ready for the video. If you don't feel like wearing any makeup, and yes, there are plenty of days that I don't feel like wearing makeup, uh, what I do is I have a pair of blue glasses, uh, blue lens glasses. These are actually uh, purposefully uh, purchased so that my eyes are protected from the screen. And there are all these blue lights, uh, you know, like I said, three monitors going on at the same time and it's tiring my eyes very quickly. So I have, I put them on and it's interesting how the camera picks that up and it reflects a little bit of blue. And you know what? It hides, it hides well enough to see that I don't have uh, makeup on. It's not noticeable that I don't have makeup on. It's nicely blurring out of my eyes where it's most noticeable that I don't have makeup on. And you know, it just works. At the end of the day, you want to improve what you already have. My next tip to looking good is consistency. Consistency in your overall image. That's hair, makeup, clothing. So if normally you wear t-shirts and no makeup and you're all slouchy, that's fine, that's who you are. But then if one day you're in a mood and all of a sudden you go all out and spend two hours on hair and makeup and a nice beautiful shirt, that's not, that doesn't really match with the rest of the days. And people will notice and they will compliment you, of course, oh my goodness, you look so good today. What did you do? What's the occasion? Are you going out? So you're causing all this attention, unwanted attention, when really you just did it just because you felt like it. So bring that down a little bit and try to maintain it. Don't go all out crazy when you feel 